it's it's a pleasure to welcome everybody to the Super Seminar for Fall 2022. And first point is um, we have gotten uh, two new uh, organizers of the seminar, uh, Rebecca Golden from George Mason University and Ricard Rimani from UNC Chapel Hill. They'll join Leonardo and myself, um, right? so it will be an even richer uh, selection of, uh, of, of subjects. Time this semester is changed slightly. It will be Mondays, 4.30 to 5.30, and again, approximately every two weeks. Um, and yeah, two weeks from now, we, we will start with a special case to that. Uh, right? We'll have a special talk by Andrea Kunkov, which will be Wednesday, uh, September 28, but still at 4.30. Um, yeah, um, another thing we have uh, we have in the planning for this semester is we, we plan to have um, at some point lightning talks uh, by graduate students. So we have something in mind, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, something in that um, uh, area, and maybe we will have one day of that, maybe we'll have two days. Uh, it, depends a little bit on how many um, graduate students we uh, uh, we accommodate. But but for this, um, we are very happy to receive nominations of, uh, of uh, people you think would be an excellent uh, person to give a lightning talk. Right? Uh, it's fine if advisors uh, nominate their students. It's but anybody can nominate anybody. So if, if you're a graduate student, you think your advisor is dragging it and just nominate yourself, that's perfectly fine. Um, just, just send an email to, um, to us organizers. Um, if, if we get a lot of um, uh, nominations, then we will give priorities to uh, finishing graduate students. And um, these, these um, graduate student talks might be at the at the time of the semester where uh, postdoc applications are being sent out. Yeah, um, enough about this. Um, so so today, yeah, it's a pleasure to introduce our first speaker of the semester, Sravan Kumar from UNC, and, and right now also at Princeton. He will speak about conformal blocks for Galois covers uh, of algebraic groups. And a special note, um, please right click on the window where you can see his uh, notes and then pin that window, then, then you will get to see it. Yeah, so Sravan, please uh, go ahead, thanks. Thank you very much Anders for the introduction. So uh, what I'm going to talk about eventually, that will be maybe last 10 minutes, uh, are at the most 15 minutes, uh, uh, which will be a joint work with uh, uh, with uh, uh, Juju Hong of my department. Uh, so that is, uh, as the title said, conformable blocks for Galois covers of algebraic curves. Uh, but before I introduce that topic, I have to tell you uh, what the classical story is about the Verlinde formula in the non-equivariant setting, in the usual setting or in the classical setting. Uh, so I will uh, uh, start there and not only I will start there, but probably I will spend maybe 35 minutes uh, to that topic. Uh, and then towards the uh, uh, last 15 or so minutes, I will come to uh, the uh, topic of the uh, equivariant situation or the Galois cover situation. So let's begin with, as usual, for, uh, some notation. So we start with a, let G be a simply connected, simple, complex algebraic group. So my base field is complex numbers all the time. And we are going to take a, a, a sigma, a reduced projective curve. So I'm not assuming that it's smooth, but it should be reduced. And I'm not assuming that it is irreducible either, but I'm assuming that it is connected. So it's a connected reduced projective curve. So by a S-pointed curve, we mean, first of all, the curve sigma, and then bunch of points. So I'm going to fix one number S, small s, which will be at least one. So I'm not taking it to be zero. So at least one. And then I'm taking bunch of points, P1, P2 through Ps, 
And these points are points of sigma, uh, but they, uh, they must be smooth points. So I am not, uh, uh, I mean, I'm requiring them to be smooth points. So I don't take any of them to be singular point. Now we also fix a level or what is called the central charge of the theory. And that level is going to be some positive integer C, uh, I mean, bigger than zero. Now, uh, we are going to uh, define this dominant uh, 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 dominant chamber for the affine wild group, which depends upon the choice of C, small c. So DC is set of all those, okay, so I am, I am hiding some notation. So G was a, 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 a simply connected simple algebraic group. I am making a choice of a Borel there, B, and also I'm making a choice of the Cartan, H, which is in the Borel, and the early algebras will be the corresponding uh, uh, lowercase underlined letters. So uh, small h underlined denotes the Lie algebra of the Cartan H. So now we are going to take linear forms lambda in H star, such that lambda of alpha i check is non-negative integer, where alpha i check are all the simple co-roots. And also we require that lambda of theta check now theta is the highest root. So theta check should be at most C, including C. Okay, so I, I mean, I'm just like, H is the Cartan subalgebra of Lee G, alpha I check are the simple co-roots and theta check is the co-root corresponding to the highest root theta. Now, uh, one, uh, one central object in this whole theory is the affine Lee algebra. I'm sure you all know what the affine Lee algebra is, but just to set the notation, so I will denote it by G hat, the German G hat, uh, where German G is Lie algebra of G. So I have de deviated here in my notation. I could also have just said a small G bar uh, or underlined G, but that's one German letter I can kind of write it. So I wrote in German G. So G hat is G tensor C, uh, Laurent series C uh, 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 double bracket T plus a central uh, element, uh, uh, capital C. And the bracket here is X tensor F, Y tensor G is the bracket X, Y tensor F times G plus X, Y, the inner product of X and Y. And then we take a residue of DF times G. So the derivative of F times G and the residue just means the coefficient of T inverse. Now here x, y is the normalized invariant form on the Lie algebra so that we normalize it in the manner so that the highest root is squared, length squared is two. So theta push theta up a little bit. It's, the 